Hello, second year. How are you today? Well, today is Wednesday, the 23rd of, 23rd of September. Uh, today, we are going to go to Unit 12. We are going to work on pages 141, 42, 43, 44, and 45. Bye-bye, Unit 11. Hello, last unit from the book. Last unit from the year, Unit 12. Remember, you have to hand in um, your video, three minutes video, uh, with the things you should, you shouldn't, and shouldn't do about the place you chose, okay? Well, so pay attention now. Uh, study, please. Uh, watch the videos, the videos of the classes consciously. Yes, okay? This is the last unit. Then we are going to have the revision, of course, but then we are going to uh, have the schematization classes to revise all the units from unit 1 to unit 12 again. Yes, and you need to focus, you need to study, you need to study vocabulary, you need to study grammar. Yes, because the final exam is not very far away. Yes, okay? So, um, put the date in all the pages. Yes, okay? Uh, we are going to describe these pictures, these pictures, the two pictures, the picture in the background and the picture in the foreground, yes, on page 148, yes, and, yes, you will say what you can see there, yes, what's the weather like in the two pictures. So in the picture, uh, in the background, when well, you know it's in the Arctic, uh, it's very cold, yes, okay. Uh, I can see um, an Inuit man, yes, they are, and uh, he's holding a picture. I can see his sledge and the, the, the dogs, yes, that pull the sledge, yes, uh, he's holding a picture, a green picture. I can see water there, I can see um, the water is green, I can see tall trees, and this place looks very hot, yes? So, we are going to listen. I want you to describe the picture of the same as the teacher did, yes, okay? And you are going to go to exercises two and three. In exercise two, you are going to complete, uh, you are going to listen to the recording, you are going to complete the sentences with a missing number, and then in exercise three, you are going to say, in your, is your country nearer the Arctic, the Antarctic, or the equator? Equator. So where is, uh, where is it spring or summer at the moment? In the northern or southern hemisphere. Yes, okay. So now, here is spring, yes. And in Europe, it's, it's autumn, yes. You already know this, yes, okay. Acordate que la línea del Ecuador dividía, ¿sí? En hemisferios, yes, ok, un poco de geografía ahí, yes, is it clear? Well, so pay attention now, we are going to listen, yes, to the recording. Yes, okay, so. Hemisphere. Hemisphere, yes, hemisphere. Hemisphere. Yes, okay, so this is our country. Busca tu mapa en casa. Yes, okay. Is it clear? So, this is the equator. Yes, the line that divides, yes, the planet in two hemispheres, yes, okay. And here we have Argentina. It's not very far away from the equator. And then, yes, can you see it from there? We have the Antarctic. Yes, is it clear? Okay. So, we are not very far away, very far away from the equator. Here you have Brazil. Brazil is near, nearer to the equator. 
Yes, okay. And then we have the Antarctic. Is it clear? Right. Yes. So, um, miralo en un mapa en casa, por favor. Yes, googlealo. Si no lo viste muy bien. Good. So, shall we go to the listening now? Yes, good. Unit 12 opener. This Inuit man lives on Baffin Island Inuit. in Canada. It's in the Arctic, about two and a half thousand kilometers from the North Pole. Track 109. Unit 12 opener. This Inuit man lives on Baffin Island in Canada. It's in the Arctic about two and a half thousand kilometers from the North Pole. Ira Block took the photo, and the Inuit man is also holding another photo by Ira Block. Ira took this second photo in the US state of South Carolina, which is about two and a half thousand kilometers from the equator. Ira took the two photos because about 56 million years ago, the Arctic probably looked like South Carolina today. At that time, the temperature in the Arctic was around 25 degrees Celsius. Nowadays, the average temperature in the Arctic is around minus 10 degrees. It was 25 degrees Celsius, but now it's minus 10 so it has of course it has changed a lot okay so i will show you the answers from exercise two así no les queda ninguna duda con las amounts yes it's exercise two Okay, that's it. Okay, well, so shall we go to uh, page 142? Yes, highlight the vocabulary there. Yes, okay. Measures. Yes, okay. I want you to highlight it. Percent, kilometers. Yes, okay. Degrees Celsius. Kilograms, liters. Liters. Yes, okay. So we are going to do, uh, then we are going to highlight the word building to. So you have there. Yes, the verb, pesa, el peso, mide, al, bueno, de la altura vendría a ser, 12 metros de alto. Yes. And then, la altura. Yes, okay, is it clear? Okay. So you have the noun. Yes, the verb. Is it clear? Right. So you are going to do exercises two, three, yes, four, five, and six. Okay? Good. So you have to complete, yes, these facts about the earth with the abbreviations, okay? You have there in the chart, okay? Is it clear? Right. Exercise two. One. Yes, one, what else? Vamos a corregir la, la um, uno primero, así te queda, eh? Okay? Well, you have the abbreviations there. Yes, okay. Exercise one. Porcentaje, tenés percent, one percent, two, 
degrees Celsius, temperature. Estoy en el 1, chequeando. 3 kilometers, distance. 4, well, liters, the quantity of water, ya saben, para líquido. Yes, square meters, area, metros cuadrados. And kilograms, yes, para el peso. Ok, vamos al ejercicio 2, 2. Degrees, 1, yes, degrees Celsius, 2, kilometers, 3%, per cent, 4, square meters, yeah, meters, yes, ok, 5 kilograms, yes, ok, Yes, and then six liters. Yes, okay. Exercise three. Lens. Yes. Deep. Tenés. De largo. Yes. De profundo. De alto. Is it clear? Atención ahí. One. Lens. Largo es long. Yes, pero acá tenemos para decir de alto. Tiene tanto de alto. Yes, lens. Yes, is it clear? Me falta la H por aquí. Yes. Lens. Like this. Yes. Lens. Deep. De profundidad, de profundo. Yes. Ok. Next. Mm -hmm. Four kilometers. Height. Yes, okay. Ah, uh, five percent. Yes, a porcentaje, percentage. Yes, and six ways. Way. Yes, okay. Is it clear? Good. All right, all right, all right. Yes, okay. One, less, two, deep, three, height, four, yes, de altura, eh? Kilometers. Five percentage, six way. Okay? Okay, what is the climate in exercise four in your country? Hot, cold, well, depending on the places. Yes, okay, Formosa is very hot. Yes, but if you go to the south, yes, Ushuaia is very cold. Yes, is it clear? Depending if you are in the north or in the south. Yes, okay. Well, so I want you to go to exercise six, the true or false, yes? Now is the time that you pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers, okay? You have to read climate change, yes? Okay, I give you the answers. One false, two true, three true, four four true, five false, six true. Exercise, that is all, yes, okay? Good. So let's go now. I want you to highlight the chart of the grammar. Yes, from page 143. Yes. Okay. Highlight the grammar. And we are going to do exercises 10, 10, 10. Yes. Okay. And 13. 10 and 13. Okay. Is it clear? Right. But first of all, yes, we are going to, I'm going to project the chart, we are going to revise conditional zero. Vamos a revisar el condicional cero, que ya lo tienen. Y voy a enganchar con el condicional um, one. Yes, ok, good. Atención, quiero que hagas ejemplos en tu cuaderno. Yes, ok. Siempre examples. Yes. You call an ambulance if 
your father or mother, yes, is sick. Yes, teníamos if plus present plus present. Yes or no? Yes, okay? So if I study, I pass my exam. Is it clear? If I don't study, I don't pass my exams. Yes, and you have the structure there. Okay. If my mother, uh, if my mother wins the lottery, she is happy. Tenemos if más presente, más presente. Yes, is it clear? Right? Entonces, si sí, mi mamá gana la lotería, está feliz. Si estudio, paso el examen. Ok. ¿Qué no me tengo que olvidar acá? Porque dice presente cuando uso he, she, or it. El verbo que sabemos que lleva es. Muy bien. ¿Es clear? So, what do you do? Now we have the question. What do you do if you win the lottery? If I win the lottery, I buy a house, a bigger, a bigger house. Uh, if I win the lottery, I help poor people. If I win the lottery, I, um, I will give a gift to every student I have. Yes? And then you have, what does your friend do if he becomes, nota la S aquí, a famous YouTuber? If my friend becomes a famous YouTuber, he wins a lot of money. Yes? Is it clear? So if he becomes... No me olvido esa S porque tiene que estar conjugado porque nos dice presente. Y nosotros sabemos que el presente lleva a S cuando es he, she, or it. ¿Es clear? Entonces, a esta cosa, ¿sí? a esto, eh, me refiero cuando mando notitas y digo, no estás mirando la clase con atención, ¿sí? Porque el que mira la clase con atención, formar el presente, nosotros ya lo sabemos desde second grade, and this is second year. ¿Es clear? So, concentrate, focus when you see uh, the videos. Yes? Okay. And then we have conditional number one. Pay attention is if plus present plus will. So, if I study, I will pass the exam. Yes? Okay. If I don't have uh, exams, I will go to the park. If I don't watch the videos of the classes, I won't pass the final exam. If I don't see uh, that film, yes, I will be very sad. Is it clear? Entonces tenemos ahora el condicional if, más presente, más futuro. ¿Sí? Si gano la lotería, compraré una casa. Si estudio, pasaré el examen. And then the question, the WH question, where will you go? Yes, if you... Um, we, if, where will you travel if you have a lot of money? If I have a lot of money, siempre el if tiene que estar pegado en el condicional cero del presente. En el condicional uno del presente puede estar esto aquí o esto aquí. For example, I will uh, go to Miami if I have money. ¿Te das cuenta? I will go to Miami if I have money. Acá está la if sentence en la parte de abajo, ¿sí? en la segunda parte. Y la clause, la otra parte, está en, la parte, en, la, en el principio. ¿yes? Entonces, no importa si está aquí o aquí, sino lo importante es que el if Si esta trampita siempre te la tenés que saber. Tiene que estar pegadito al tiempo que me corresponde acá. Porque después vienen otros condicionales. Is it clear? Yes? Okay. Where, uh, what will your friend do if he loses? Atende esto, por favor. Pay attention. ¿Sí? No dice if he loses. If he loses. Yes? Uh, his dog at the park. So, if my best friend loses his dog at the park, he will call his mom. Yes? Okay. He will call the police. Uh, he will write a note, yes, of lost. Yes, okay. Is it clear? Bueno, entonces, quiero que en casa... Ups, bueno, borré todo, no importa. Eh, te escribas ejemplos con if sentence. Do con if I. Do con what. What do you do if... 
¿Qué haces si? What do you do if you win the lottery? What do you do if you lose your dog? What do you do if you have a boyfriend? What do you do if you um, don't study for the test? Yes, I don't go to school. Yes, is it clear? Right. Um, después vamos a pasar al conditional one. Pones conditional one más la estructura. Yes. Dos ejemplos. Yes. If I. Yes. If my mother wins the lottery, she will buy a house, a new house. Yes. If my dad drinks, uh, if, if my dad eats healthy, yes, he loses weight. Yes. Pierde peso. Okay. What will you do if you, what will you do if you win the lottery? Acordate. What will you do if you win the lottery? O, if you win the lottery, what will you do? Puede cambiar. La I puede estar aquí o puede estar aquí. Pero nunca se separa. Siempre va pegado de esa estructura, ese tiempo verbal. En este caso, present, present. ¿Ok? One is conditional zero. If present, present. Conditional one. If present, will. ¿Está? Ejemplos en el cuaderno como los que di yo. ¿Ok? Bueno, después tenemos un cuadro de articles preparado también, que preparamos las teachers. Yes. Ok, ya sabes cuándo utilizar los artículos, pero acá tenemos una revision. Siempre mostramos todo, ¿sí? Para que revises en tu casa. Yes, ok. Ya es el mismo cuadro, son los mismos cuadros, por ahí ponemos otros ejemplos, que los cuadros que subrayamos, ¿dónde? En el book, ¿está? Yes. All the charts must be, all the charts must be, Highlighted. Is it clear? Right? Good. So, we, we use definite article, the, with the name of the desert. Yes, okay. Seas. The Atlantic Ocean. Yes, okay. Uh, the Paraguay River. Yes, okay. Um, the Sahara, the Sahara Desert. We also use with names, we also use articles, yes, with the name of places, for example, the USA, the United Kingdom, yes, the Atlantic Ocean, the Amazon, the United Kingdom, the United States of America. Cuando no usamos artículo with names of continents, we don't say the America, we say America, Yes, countries, you don't say the Argentina, but you say Argentina, yes, con los nombres de los lagos, yes, Lake Como, no decimos de Lake Como, sí, Mount Everest, no decimos de Mount Everest, is it clear? Bueno, así, articles, conditional zero, que lo repasamos, y lo nuevo de hoy sería conditional one, yes, is it clear? Well, now we go to the exercises, right? Right, right, right. Good, good, good. Vamos a ponerle un poquito más de ganas de, de onda que ya vamos a poder meter este año, ¿eh? Yes? Ok. Bueno. Uh, page 143, you are going to do exercise 9. 999, 999. Yes, ok. We order. The words to make sentences about the future. Yes? Okay. Now is the time that you pause the video. Ten, perdón, el ejercicio ten. You pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers. Okay? It will be hotter in my country in the future. The rainfall in this country won't increase in the future. I don't think the number of dry deserts will increase. There will be longer summer. The percentage, the percentage of people living in the cities will increase. Everyone will speak English. People won't use petrol in their cars. And I think I will move to a warmer country. Yes, okay. Todas predictions con ese will. Yes, okay. ¿Cómo formamos este will entonces? El futuro. Yes, entonces I will. ¿Qué predicciones tenés? 
Y a eso vamos a la, el ejercicio 13. En tu cuaderno, yes, you are going to predict about the future. Yes, ok. Good. Okay, wait a minute. So, in the future, in the future, yes, in the future, I will be a teacher. Yo no cambio de profesión, yes? I will be a teacher. Yes, uh, teachers. These are predictions, ¿ah? ¿eh? ¿Cómo formamos el will? Will más, es un tiempo que me encanta, más infinitivo, porque es súper fácil el verbo en infinitivo, ¿ok? A teachers will uh, earn more money, yes, teachers will earn more money, ¿ok? Um, travel, um, people, yes, people, escribite las predicciones, ¿eh? Sobre job, travel, Home and, well, future in general. Yes, okay. Well, people will travel. Travel. People will fly. Yes, will fly in the future. Yes, okay. They will fly. Yes, in the future. Yes, ok, good. Um, bueno, se van a te teletransportar. Yes, ok. Vamos a ver si siguen probando eso y sale. Eh? Yes, but there will be an advantage, disadvantage, disadvantage about that. Yes, ok, so we have to be careful. Yes, uh, people won't uh, travel by car, no, people won't travel by car, um, people will have, people will have intelligent, intelligent, uh, intelligent homes, will have intelligent homes, si, ¿sí? casas inteligentes, todo manejado por uh, uh, high uh, technology, ok, Uh, people will have, people will uh, have robots, yes, made robots, yes, okay, so they will have robots, a, a robot that help them at home with the housework, with the cooking, yes, is it clear? Well, so I want you to write your predictions about what people will have, what people will, won't have, yes, okay, So, and then, yes, your predictions about your future, yes, about your future, yes. For example, uh, in the future, I think you will go to university, uh, you will have a boyfriend or a girlfriend, Uh, a couple, voy a poner que van a tener pareja. Uh, you will buy, you will travel, yes, you will travel. You won't uh, have a lot of uh, sons or daughters. I think you will have only one or two, yes. Um, you will travel around the world. You will speak not only Spanish and English, but you will speak Uh, more than two languages, yes, okay, so these are my predictions for you, uh, you won't get married, but you will have, you will live happily with your family, with your couple, uh, you will have one or two children, no more than that, uh, you will work, you will uh, get your degree at university, and you will be very happy, okay, so think about your predictions for the teacher group, okay, is it clear? Well, so, Now, yes, we can move and we're going to do exercises uh, 13. That was all from page 143. Is it clear? Right. So let's go to 144 and 145. Yes, okay. 
Yeah? So we have to answer this question with which place would you like to visit on the earth? Well, I, I would like to go again to Europe. Yes, I would like to go again. And I would like to visit, I'd like to visit um, Germany. Yes, Italy too. Um, there you have another chart, articles, the revision there. Yes, from page 144, we're going to do exercises 1, 2, uh, 4, 5, and 6. And from page 145, well, there was a game there, but, well, the game you're going to play when you come back. Yes, from page 145, you're going to do exercises 8, 8, and 9. Is it clear? Right. So, uh, I was saying that I would like to go to Germany. Yes, because I think I would like to see um, uh, everything as regards uh, the, the, the war. Yes, okay. Um, I, I want to know the concentrations, uh, concent concentration comes. Yes, but I think I don't know if I could be brave enough to visit the, the camps, the concentration camps, but I'm very interested about all, all the story, yes, okay, of our world, and I think uh, Germany is a place that has a lot of history, yes, okay, I would like to go to Italy too, yes, I'd like to go to many places, yes, is it a place you saw on TV or you read in a magazine? Well, I, I always see uh, documentaries on TV about uh, Germany. Yes. Why do you want to go there? Well, because I, I am interested in knowing different places. Yes. Okay. History, the culture of the places. Yes. To have contact with the local people. Yes. Okay. Well, so um, we are going to listen to uh, another recording. Yes. It is a radio program about five. Uh, unexplored places on earth on the earth yes okay um, and you have to complete the sentences on exercise four read the sentences first read these sentences first and then we're going to, I'm going to play it yes okay but remember you have to check it read it scan the text yes okay and then complete. Right, there we go. Track 112, Unit 12B. We often think that humans have been everywhere on the earth. We've crossed deserts and we've been to the bottom of oceans. And as for mountains, about 500 people climb to the top of Mount Everest every year. So, is there anything left? Well, if you're an explorer who's looking for new places to explore, here are my top five unexplored places. Good luck! First of all, there are two lakes. The Black Hole of Andros is in the Bahamas in the Atlantic Ocean. The water temperature is 36 degrees Celsius, and it is very dark, so it's difficult to see what's in there. And my second lake is Lake Vostok in Antarctica. Lake Vostok is 14,000 square kilometers and freezing cold. Unfortunately, it's been under a sheet of ice for 15 million years. The ice is 3.7 kilometers deep, so it's impossible to get to. Though scientists have taken water from it. 
If you're a climber, there are lots of mountains in the world that nobody has climbed yet. For example, there's Mount Dimpanalison in the east of the Himalayan mountains. It's 6,135 meters high. Or you could explore the Merame Mountains in Guyana in South America. But they are at the end of the 500 kilometer long Matsuruni River. So that's one for someone who also likes boats and maybe swimming. It's one of the most dangerous rivers in the world. Then there are also the Foja Mountains in a forest of Papua on the island of New Guinea. The forest is 8,100 square kilometers. And the bad news is there are no maps of is the region. There? Pay attention to the so, amount. Forest of Papua on the island of New Guinea. The forest is 8,100 square kilometers. And the bad news is there are no maps of the region. So you'll have to make one while you're... Okay, there are no maps of this region. Yes, you have to make your own map, yes, okay? It's 8,100 uh, square kilometers, yes, okay? Right. Oh, there. Okay, well, you can, uh, you can listen it again, yes, okay? So, I'm going to show you the amounts, yes? Así lo pueden corregir bien. Ojo con las amounts, yes, okay? Well, so we have there... Okay. Okay, number one, an Atlantic, Antarctica. Yes, okay. Is it clear? Quiero que se concentren en las amounts. Yes, okay. 8,100 square kilometers. Yes, okay. All right. There you are. Right. Okay. So, uh, exercise um, five. Yes. Which unexplored places are water? Which unexplored places are on land? And which place would you like to explore and why? Number one. Black Hole of Andrew, Andros, Lake Bostock is also water but frozen. Number two, Merume Mountains, Mount Din Pernalason, Foja Mountain. Yes, and in exercise in sentence three is your choice. Which one from there would you like to explore and why? Yes, okay. Exercise six. Areas of water, yes, sea, lake, complete please, ocean, river, areas of land, desert, for desert, forest, island, and mountain. Yes, this is for completing the chart. And now on page 145, yes, you have to do exercise 8 and 9 according to Read the chart again. Remember the explanation I have made, I have given to you. And you have to put or article or no article. Yes, exercise eight. Pause the video, 
Do the activities and then listen to the answers, okay? Eight and nine. Yes, okay, is it clear? Right, the Bahamas, F2, Mount Kilimanjaro, D3, the Pacific Ocean, H, Africa, C, 5, the River Nile, E, the Merume Mountains, A, Peru, B, Lake Tatika, Titicaca, perdón, Lake Titicaca, G, yes, exercise 9, pause the video, do the activities and then listen to the answers, okay, 1, D, 2, 0, article, 3, D, D, 4, 0, 5, acuérdate que se pronuncia D cuando la palabra que viene comienza con A, E, I, O, U, vowel, ok, 5, uh, 0, 4, 0, 6, D, yo digo D, ustedes se fijan si en el 6, D, yeah, D, 7, 0, 8, 0, and 9, 0, article, is it clear? Well, so that is all from today, yes, we have already finished, um, Last class, last pages from the book, yes? Do activity book pages 92, 93, 94, 95, only the exercises in brackets, yes? Okay, is it clear? Well, study, pay attention to the classes and happy weekend. See you next class. Bye-bye, second year.